Now at 430 from the NBC Tonight team, St. Mary's response to a scathing report on conditions at the home for troubled kids seems to have fueled the fire. Welcome back everyone. I'm Tamara Sakarzik. When we first reported a response last week, the two sides have since written dueling letters to each other. The I team's Brian Crandall is live in studio with the back and forth on this. Hey, Brian. Well, Tamara, the headline making initial report from the Ryland Office of the Child Advocate a few months ago detailed abuse, overdoses, runaways and neglect by staff at St. Mary's Home for Children in North Providence last year. Well, now the child advocate did not like the official response it got from St. Mary's last week. An exchange of tough words in the last week between Rhode Island's child advocate and the new boss at St. Mary's. I, I disagree with them, and, and I think that is pretty obvious. Dr. Charles Montorio Archer was brought in as the new boss at St. Mary's as a result of the allegations and is overseeing the response. Last week, we were the first to report St. Mary's 164 page written response to the child advocate, outlining changes that they've made to staffing, security, and training but also pushing back on some of the more sensational allegations. In return, the child advocate fired back with a letter the next day, writing the St. Mary's response was, quote, wholly inadequate given the nature of the allegations, lacks accountability, and offers minimal solutions. I felt like the response was punitive. Montorio Archer then shot back with his own letter Friday, claiming the child advocate's letter gave short shrift to sincere efforts and, quote, reflects a desire for retribution. I really feel that it missed all of the things that are there and it also felt like an insult to the integrity and humanity of all of us who are still here trying to make this place better. They said that your response minimized the profound concerns. Not at all. Nothing about me would minimize the care of people. Child Advocates Office did not have any comment to us beyond the letter. The Child Advocate found it problematic that many of the improvements claimed by St. Mary's were policies that were previously in place that were not followed. Montorio Archer claims improvement because those policies are now being followed. The child advocate also took issue with how St. Mary's refuted some of the allegations by taking the word of previous leaders they claim were in charge during the failures. Can you and the child advocate work together? At this of, co of, co of, co of course we it's can. It's now kind of turned into like a, a back and forth where it's just... I, I don't want it to be. I am not approaching this as a combatant. I'm only approaching this to build consensus and collaboration to move forward. I welcome the opportunity for us to have a dialogue that's not one sided. All right, well, DCYF stopped state placement of kids at St. Mary's home last year. Those placements have not resumed. I'm Brian Crandall, NBC 10 News.